Okay. And then Jennifer, I think Jennifer's here. Hi, Jennifer. So Jennifer had a question about, and this comes up a lot, you guys, um, taking manual blood pressures on the forearm because patients that have bigger arms, it's really hard to get a standard size cuff to work because A, it's going to be too small. So, and her facility where she is doesn't have multiple cuff sizes, which is so weird because sometimes you have tiny little adults and they need the smaller one, but whatever. Um, they don't have the extra large or the larger cuffs for the bigger arms. So she's having to use a standard cuff on a larger person. So taking the blood pressure in the forearm is a viable option, though I will say that some studies show those may read a little bit higher, like up to like three and a half points higher on the systolic. So just be aware of that. Um, as long as your cuff measurements around the forearm correlate with that 80%, um, you know, the length of the bladder is 80% of the circumference and the width is at least 40%, then you're fine. Okay. It should work. And then hopefully your blood pressure cuff has a little mark so that it's super easy and you're not having to do a ton of math. And it has the mark for if it will fit that person's arm. And then just um, aligning it with the radial artery and auscultating there at the radial um, artery. Okay. So um, the other thing that I would say about this, if you're concerned about it being accurate, like it's probably accurate enough. Know that it could read maybe a little bit higher, but what you really want to pay attention to Jennifer is the trend. Okay. So if you've been taking it on the forearm all this time and that's where it's taken every day or every shift or what have you, that's gonna give you some valuable information, even if it's off a little bit, even if it's reading slightly higher than it would if it was on um, the upper arm. But if you watch the trend, if it, the trend is trending down, then that's concerning, okay? So, you know, you might not be right on the money with the measurement, but you do know that compared to this morning, it's 10 points lower. And then you take it again and it's 10 points lower. Well, you're seeing a trend, right? So that would require um, more investigation. So does that help Jennifer? 